So for the last slide, I decided to surprise you because I've been telling you that there are hydrophilic molecules or molecules that are able to love or interact well with water and hydrophobic molecules or those molecules that fear or do not interact at all with water. But I can tell you now that there are some molecules that are able to do both. They're able to or they have areas where they're hydrophilic, hydrophilic sorry, and parts where they're hydrophobic. And these molecules, as I underlined here, they are amphipatic. Just like the word amphibious, or the animals that are able to live both on a land and water, these molecules are able to do both things, being hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Now, a great example of the, for this type of molecules is one molecule that you find on your cell's membranes. And these are called phospholipids. I'm going to write it here for you. Phospholipids. And these molecules have a, a hydrophilic head and a hydro tail. And that's why we call them amphipatic molecules. That's why they're considered amphipatic molecules, because they have both of these structures in the same molecule. Now, the amazing thing about phospholipids, and that's why you find them in this, your cell's membrane, that's what, what I have here. This is a cell's membrane. These phospholipids are then able to form a phospholipid bilayer, bilayer sorry, meaning that you find two layers of uh, phospholipids on the, uh, on the cell's membrane. And what is happening here, and the amazing thing that is happening here, is that, as you know, on the extracellular area and also on the cytoplasm or cytosol, of course, one of the main components is water. And for that reason, as you can see here, the hydrophilic heads, I'm going to change the color so I can better show you here, the hydrophilic heads of the phospholipids are in direct contact with the water, They're with the either extracellular um, area or the cytoplasm because as I mentioned it's in direct contact or it's rich in water. Now inside let's say in between or inside uh, this bilayer you find hydrophobic tails that are not in direct contact with water because they're hydrophobic and they do not interact with water very well. So as you can see there are these molecules that have these features that then play an amazing role or very important role in biological systems and this is an example.